Imagine, it's minus 40 degrees outside. You've been waiting for the bus for so long that all you want to do is to take that hot, soothing shower and go straight to bed. But you can't. Why? Because the pipes are frozen. Why they're frozen? Well, sometimes it's so extremely cold that it literally freezes the running water and causes bursting in pipes. Frozen pipes are something known to many Canadians, but few know how to deal with. Statistics show that one out of every two dollars paid by home insurers are for damages caused by water. This represents $500 million per year only in Canada. So what can we do to put an end to these costly expenses and help Montreal or any other place struggling with cold weather? Warm up the whole building? Well, waste of energy. Wrap the pipe with a hot wire? Gets detached too easily. What about replacing the fractured white with a new one? Okay, not bad, but would you be able to replace a pipeline that is located somewhere in the building far out of reach? Probably not. What if I told you I can make pipes wear coats? I mean, this is what we do when the temperature drops. In my project, I am making this coat a part of the pipe so that it would make it warm for as long as possible, with no risk of detachment or energy loss. The coat that I'm designing has two main layers. First, an electrically insulating layer. Second, an electrically conductive layer. By attaching the ends of the pipe to a power supply, the electricity passes through the conductive layer, heats up the surface, and melts the ice away. The insulating layer stops the electricity from passing through the water. Because imagine, you're taking that much needed hot shower and you get an electric shock. Not fun. I chose thermal spraying to make this plan possible. Thermal spraying is the spraying of high temperature melted particles onto a surface, which in our case is the pipe surface. I spray ceramic powder for the first layer and the metallic powder for the second layer. The thickness of each layer, the type of material that I choose, or the powder size are few of many parameters that I have to optimize to get the warmest coat. So, my hope and my goal is to come up with a heating system so reliable that not only saves us a lot of money, but also no one will ever have to miss the chance of a warm, relaxing shower because of this cold weather. Thank you.